Welcome back. Problem 1-76. This problem is taken from chapter number 1, Stress, and the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is the hangers support the joist uniformly so that it assumes the four nails on each hanger carries an equal portion of the load. Determine the smallest diameter of nails at A and B if allowable stress of for the nail is 4 ksi. So, shearing stress is 4 ksi. The hanger only supports the vertical load. So you can see this is the joist and these are hangers at A and B. Clear? And this in this hanger we have four nails on each hanger, two on this side and two on other sides. Similarly here there are two nails on this side and two on other side. And this, this hangers only supports vertical reaction. Clear? And the loading on this joist is shown over here so you have to determine the diameter of these nails and these nails and the shearing stress is given as 4 ksi so let's start with the solution so what will be the first step is if you remove this support hanger support at a so it will be replaced by a vertical reaction which is represented as f a and if you remove this uh, hanger at b so there will be a reaction force by this hanger on this joist will be FB and we will find this FA and FB by using equation of equilibrium but before that if you can see that if uh, this load is like this clear so what we are going to do is that we will convert this load this is a mixed loading so we will convert it into distributed load with a triangular load so this distributed load will have magnitude 30 pounds per feet while this uh, magnitude of triangular load will be 40 minus 30 will be equal to 10 pounds per feet. So let me divide it. So I will take a horizontal line. So you can see this will be distributed load and the magnitude here will be equal to 40 minus 30 which will be 10 pounds per feet. Okay, so when you convert this distributed load into a point load, so it will be equal to, this will be the point load, it will be equal to 30 into the length over which it acts. So 30 into 18 will be equal to 540 pounds. And when you convert this triangular load into a point load, so what we are going to is that it will be converted into point load since it is triangular so it's it will be equal to 1 over 2 into the magnitude which is 10 and the length over which act, act is 18 feet so i will write 18 and that will give you 90 pounds 90 pounds now the distributed load will act at a half of the distance of full length which full length is 18 so 18 divided by 2 will be equal to 9 feet and this point this triangular load will when converted into point load so it will act at a distance of l by 3 from this end b so l is 18 so 18 by 3 will be equal to 6 feet so 6 feet from the point b so i will write it this distance is 6 feet okay and the remaining distance is 3 feet. Now we'll find, apply the equation of equilibrium. So what will be the equation of equilibrium? So first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point A is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A, the first moment will be this load which is 540 and perpendicular distance is 9 and this will produce clockwise moment so it will be negative. The second moment will be this load which is 90 pound and perpendicular distance is 12 and this is also negative because it is clockwise. The third moment will be this FB into perpendicular distance is 18 and it is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive and the sum of all moment about point A must be equal to 0. So I will write 540 multiply by 9 this is clockwise minus 90 into 12 plus fb into 18 is equal to 0. So when you calculate it, you will get this uh, 18 fb will be equal to 540 multiplied by 9 
plus 90 into 12. So FB will be equal to 540 multiplied by 9 plus 90 into 12 divided by 18 and you will get this force vertical force at point B will be equal to 330 pounds. Now you have this FB you can find this FA by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upper force is taken as positive. So you can see FA plus FB minus 540 and minus 90 is equal to zero. So I will write FA plus FB which is 330 minus 540 minus 90 is equal to 0 so fa plus 330 minus 660 630 630 will be equal to 0 so fa minus 300 is equal to 0 so from here you will get this fa will be equal to 300 pounds Force, vertical force at point B is equal to 330 pounds there and at A it is 300 pounds. And you can see this vertical force is applied at, uh, is applied reaction force of this hanger on this joist. As a result, joist will also, uh, this is supporting this joist. So definitely this force will cause uh, sharing stress in these nails. There are four nails, four nails at A. Clear? So what we will do is that we will calculate the diameter. So I will write for nails, for nails at A, we know that sharing allowable sharing stress is equal to force, shear force divided by vertical shear force divided by area of nails. So this is for single nail, for single nail, okay, or you can also write it like this that total area of shear force divided by total area because this shear force is this four nails are taking this shear force, clear? So total area will be equal to FA divided by 4 times area of single nail is pi by 4 dA square. Clear? And what we will do is that we have been given as we are going to find dA. So dA square will be equal to FA divided by pi into T allowable. So you can put the value 300 divided by pi multiply by allowable sharing stress is 4 KSI. So 4 into 10 raised to power 3 KSI will be equal to dA square. So from here you will get dA will be equal to 300 divided by pi multiply by 4 into 10 raised to power 3 under the root and you will get diameter of nail at A will be equal to 0 0.155 inch. So this is the diameter of nail at A. Similarly, you can find for nails at B, nails at B, sharing, allowable sharing stress is equal to vertical sharing force at B divided by area of nails B. Since there are four nails so I will write 4 multiply by area of one nail is 4 pi by 4 dB square. And same you will get this dB square will be equal to FB divided by pi into ta allowable. So you can just put the value FB is 330 pounds. You can see this is 330 pounds divide by pi multiply tie allowable is uh, 4 ksi so 4 into 10 to power 3 which is db square 
and from here you will get db will be equal to under the root 330 divided by pi multiplied by 4 into 10 to power 3 and you will get when you solve this you will get diameter of nails at b will be equal to 0 0.162 inch so these are diameter of nails at a and this is the diameter of nails at b and which is the answer of this question and that was all about this problem 1-76 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos please share these videos with your community uh, communities and help me in growing further and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section Thank you for watching.